Hello, welcome to another video of Juniper Security Associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper SOX content filtering concept and configuration. With content filtering, it's possible to filter the traffic based on MIME type, file extension, and also protocol commands. It is also possible to filter cookie, ActiveX, Java applet, and some other content types that can be vulnerable. As we have mentioned several times, with content filtering, it's possible to inspect web, FTP, and email traffic to control or filter them based on the content type, MIME type, file extension, and protocol commands are the main contents that we can inspect and control. By MIME type, it means mostly the type of the media, for example, an MP4 video or MP3 audio or an image with JPEG type are some MIME type examples. The meaning of the file extension is clear. .exe, .zip, .doc are some examples from file extension. By the protocol commands, you can control the traffic based on the commands used in the application header. For example, in HTTP, get command is most important command to browse or download the web content or in FTP delete command is used to delete a file in a FTP server. The configuration of content filtering is very similar to antivirus and anti-spam. In the first step we have to enable UTM content filtering feature. In the second step we configure content filtering profile. In the profile we configure the type of contents to be inspected. For each content type, MIME type, protocol commands, and file extension, a separate list of content types can be configured. In the third step, we configure content filtering policy. In the policy, we configure which protocols to be inspected. HTTP, email, and FTP protocols are supported. For each protocol, we have to specify the content filtering profile configured earlier or the default content filtering profile and in the last step content filtering policy must be activated in a security policy to start the configuration we enable utm content filtering feature this feature unlike antivirus and anti-spam does not require any license with the commands set security utm default configuration content filtering type we have the options to enable or disable the content filtering with the local keyword you activate content filtering based on local policies and then commit in the second step we configure a content filtering profile in the profile we specify which contents to be inspected for each content type MIME type, file extension, and protocol commands. You can configure separate list. As an example, here we create four custom objects. The first is based on file extension. .exe and .zip extensions are in the list. The second is based on protocol commands. FTP delete command is the only protocol command in the list. The third list is based on MIME type, include video QuickTime and image JPEG files. The last line is also based on MIME type, includes MP4 file. Then we create a profile with the name of CF profile, which inspect and block the first three lists, block extension exe zip list, Block command, FTP delete command, and block MIME, quick JPEG, which is configured earlier in the custom object, but permit the file type, including the force list, which is MP4. In the content filtering, white list is created using exception list. With the exception MP4, actually we permit the list. And the whitelist has always priority to the blacklist. And copy, and then paste, and then commit. 
in the third step we configure content filtering policy in the content filtering policy we have specified which protocol to be inspected in each protocol we have to specify which profile should be used for the inspection here i create a content filtering policy with the name of cf policy which inspect ftp download and upload traffic to check the contents configured in the profile with the name of cf profile and then copy and then paste in addition to the configure cf profile we have the option to enable jonos content filtering default profile and then commit in the last step we have to apply the content filtering policy in the security policy from untrust zone to the trust zone there is a default default permit policy which permit everything and it is configured in the previous sections at the end of then permit command we add content filtering policy application services utm policy cf policy to activate content filtering policy in the security policy copy and then paste after committing we can check it with the command show security policies from zone on trust to zone trust show configuration and then display set as you can see utm policy content filtering policies apply to the security policy these are all the configuration that we need to configure to start using content filtering feature in the juniper srx device to make sure that the content filtering feature is correctly configured and it is inspecting the configured contents there are one main monitoring commands with the command run show security utm content filtering and then statistics you can make sure that the content filtering feature is activated and how many contents of each type are filtered.